Hello Capricorn, this is Deborah and this is going to be your weekly reading for Friday the 7th of February coming into the weekend. Hope you guys are well, wonderful to be back with you. If you're new to the channel, welcome, lovely to have you with me and I know for you cross watchers you're all out there, <laughs> you're all out there. Okay, so Cappy, let's see what's going to be coming through for you over the next few days. Do remember to watch your other placements, okay? Um, and we'll see what the Divine has to say. As always, I'm using the Gilded Tarot. Uh, and I'm also using an Angel Aura Quartz for channeling through. It also helps raise positive energy for readings and helps me clear energies in between readings, which is really important. As many readers will tell you, it's very important that energies do not get intermingled. Okay? All right. So on that note, let's move into this, see where this takes us. Archangel Michael, this is going to be the reading for my Capricorns. What does Capricorn need to know, please, Michael? Friday, the 7th of February, coming into the weekend and into a fresh new week. Energies for Capricorn, for their, for them themselves and their person. Person of interest, lover, partner, whoever this is. Thank you, Michael. Shifting your perspective, Cappy, are we? Shifting your perspective. Seeing something in a different light. All right, that's your message. Seeing something in a different light. Having shifted your perspective. Okay. I'm actually hearing blessing in disguise. Okay, so for some of you, something's happened and you're only just realising, wow, that was actually a blessing in disguise. Hmm, okay. Moving into the Psychic Tarot, John Holland. Hmm, card of triumph just flipped over, Okay. Archangel Michael, two cards please from the Psychic Tarot deck for my Capricorns. Capricorn and their person, please, Michael. Capricorn and their person. All right. Kipper deck is next. Wow, really? Yeah, Michael's telling me take straight from the middle. I'm going to do it. Okay, all right, there we go. <clears throat> excuse me, I'm losing my voice, guys. I've done too many readings today. No other excuse. All right, you ready? Should we see where this goes? Um, first of all, Cappy, let's have a look at your energy. Let's see what you're experiencing at this time. Wow, nine of cups. Now, this can be... Happiness, celebration. This can be meeting up with friends and family. Okay, wine flowing, people are getting together. This is also the energy, Cappy, of you kind of having it all. I have to say, this can sometimes be a third party energy. Right? This guy's looking pretty smug because he's got a big glass of wine, but he's also got other glasses of wine in front of him. He's got everything he wants. So this can be a wish fulfilled. This can be a celebration. Or this can be you thinking about a third party situation. Okay. Moon in reverse. Cancerian energy with the moon and the crab. Releasing the fear that maybe you've been feeling about a situation. This is also truth coming to light. There we have your energy. But I'm really feeling that unless, of course, you're feeling a little bit unbalanced, a bit emotional, which is potentially the case, 
you're moving yourself out or you have moved yourself out of a very difficult situation where secrets were hidden. This could be that you have come clean about being involved with somebody else and you've relayed that information to maybe your partner. You've released the fear in doing so and you are now feeling a massive sense of relief. Yes, you could have challenging times ahead if the two of you are splitting up, but I'm feeling that this is gonna be a massive weight off your shoulders, and that could be the blessing in disguise. Let's look at your partner's energy. This could be the third party, of course, right? The world, yeah, they are facing completion of your connection. Now, if this is the person that you're moving forwards with, there could be a lot of communication over the World Wide Web, talking about a brand new cycle. You could even be thinking about relocation. Okay, Knight of Swords in reverse. Somebody is not speaking. Somebody has closed up. There could be a sense that there is someone here who hasn't been telling the truth. Hmm. Air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Now, of course, you could have moved yourself out of a toxic situation because secrets have come out. And you have a reason to celebrate because you're sitting there feeling very smug that the truth has come to light. Your partner is facing the ending of your relationship because they lied. Yeah. Cappy, they're broken hearted. Either because you fell in love with somebody else and you've ended the connection to be with a lover. Or they are broken hearted because they realised that as they cheated on you, they've lost you. They've lost you. But whatever this is, you are feeling a sense of relief. You are feeling as if it's over, is what I'm hearing. And you're realizing that whatever happened actually maybe released you, gave you your freedom to move forward, maybe with somebody else. Harmony. There could have been a situation where somebody met someone they felt a very deep connection with, that they moved forward with, maybe had an affair with, because they wanted balance in their life. This could have been someone, Cappy, who lived a distance from you. This could have been a long distance relationship that just didn't work. And somebody found someone else. Ooh, deception and envy. Yeah, you were dealing with some deception, somebody who lied. Move forward towards someone that they felt a connection with. This was your partner, I believe, Cappy. And you felt deceived, but I feel that you have got the upper hand in this because now you feel relief, it's over. The secrets come out, you've moved out of a toxic situation and your partner may be suffering because of their actions. Community. People around you have found out. People around you may be supporting you. We have similar energy come through in the Taurus reading. So you could be linked to a Taurus or have Taurus in your rising moon or Venus sign. We also have the Nine of Cups come through as well. But nine and three is 12, one and two is three, change. The community understands, people around you understand that there is a big change going on in your situation. Could be uncomfortable. Mm. Somebody here could have been sat at home, sorting out the kids, washing, ironing, cleaning, cooking, getting the food in, right? Codependent connection. While somebody else was out pulling in the money, possibly. 
And maybe you were too occupied, Cappy, to understand that your partner was cheating on you. Somebody could have had to change their job as well. Maybe this was also to do with somebody having to work long distance for money, to bring in money for the family. And that's where the deception came in. Somebody worked away for too long and met someone else. But you seem to be looking pretty happy there. So I think that even though this might have been very difficult, I think this has already happened, it's already done with, and you are now facing completion. You could be celebrating, receiving divorce settlement, final sign-off of the papers, having got yourself out of a toxic situation. Your partner may be on the other side of the world or at a distance. They know they lie, but they are still heartbroken. But I think this is a time for both of you to pick yourselves up and to understand this may have needed to happen for a reason. Maybe for both of you to understand that the connection wasn't going to last and to move forward in a new direction. All right. Beautiful Cappy, this is your reading. If this is for you, if you resonated with this, reach out down below. DebraClaire.com, you can book a private reading on my website. Um, lovely to be with you, as I said, and I shall be back next Friday for your next instalment of TGIF. See you then. Have a good one. Bye now.